Hi folks and welcome to the exciting, sexy, fierce and fast moving world of early 80s spreadsheets. What I'm looking at today is 1982's Microsoft Multiplan for TI-99. Before they brought us Excel, well, they brought us this, for better or worse. But first, let's set the scene. In 1979, VisiCalc had changed the world, or the world of counting up quantities of money in columns, anyway. And it did that, of course, by popularizing the spreadsheet on Apple II and other popular platforms of the day. It is a bit spartan, but it got the job done, and it made working with those tables of values more powerfully interactive than it had ever been before. But that was 1979, and in 1982, Microsoft had its own contribution to the new spreadsheet market ready. That being, you guessed it, Microsoft Multiplan. They had a message. VisiCalc was a swell idea for then. Multiplan is a great idea for now. Which kind of needs to be said in that movie trailer guy voice. I really don't have that voice, possibly except when I have bronchitis. So, sorry, Multiplan. Anyway, there were bigger threats on the horizon than Multiplan itself. But uh, from the point of view of 1982, the spreadsheet market looked like pretty fertile soil. So, Microsoft spread its new spreadsheet product far and wide, just about anywhere that business software might find a home. Which is, I suppose, how it ends up even on the, by that point, very mass-market home user-oriented TI-99. Like PhysiCalc, Multiplan is a character mode program, and it looks like a character mode program everywhere it's found. In its TI-99 version, it does use a 40-column approach, so that's nice, with 40 screen columns, which you can divide into as many actual spreadsheet columns as suits your data. Your only real limitation is memory. And speaking of memory, in order to use Multiplan on TI-99, you'll need the 32K memory expansion card in your PEB, as well as a disk drive controller. And finally, to print, you'll need RS-232. So, as home user-oriented as the TI-99 itself ultimately ended up being, this program really isn't for the average home TI-99 user, who mostly doesn't have any of those things. Multiplan was serious business for serious business machines, and, well, if you had a serious business TI-99, Multiplan was willing to take advantage. But otherwise, no dice. Heck, Multiplan goes beyond just requiring one disk to recommending you actually have two, since the program disk uses one, and you'll want to save your spreadsheet at some point as well, for which it wants a work drive. So, if we're among the big spending two-disk drive having RS-232 and memory expansion rocking 99ers of 1982, what does Multiplan have for us? Well, a spreadsheet, obviously, or an electronic worksheet, as it describes itself. And one that's in a lot of ways reminiscent of VisiCalc. But let's look at what it actually does and how that's different from spreadsheets of today. First of all, you might or might not notice one thing any modern spreadsheet interface has that Multiplan doesn't here. And that's columns named with letters of the alphabet. Here, instead of using column letters, we've got numbers for both rows and columns. So the upper left cell isn't cell A1, and it also isn't 1, 1, which wouldn't be very helpful. It's R1, C1, row 1, column 1, and that's how you name it in formulas. Though you also have the option of assigning names to a cell. So if I've decided to call R1C1 Geraldine from now on, I can call her that in all my formulas. Something you can do with columns in any modern spreadsheet is change their width. So, well, can we make them all the right size to fit our data here? Yep, the good news is you can. So. When you show the boss or print your sheet on a connected printer, it'll have all the columns just the right size to fit your data. One part of the interface that you won't see in a modern spreadsheet is in the lower right corner, and there you get a percentage value. 
What that tells you is how much memory you've got left, as well as, next to that, the name of the current worksheet. Generally, the 32K memory expansion, which, as I say, is required to run the application at all, seems to offer multiplan more than enough for a very large sheet, so I've never come close to running out. You can see that alpha is the default data type when entering values. And alpha is just text, so if we enter 2 plus 2 with that option, it's just going to enter those three characters, not the value of that equation. But on the other hand, if we hit V to enter a value instead, we can use formulas. So we'll use that most of the time. Entering a formula 2 plus 2 will appear not as 2 plus 2, but as 4 on the spreadsheet, just as you'd expect. The formula is still visible as 2 plus 2 down at the bottom of the screen when the cell is selected, though, so we know how it got there for any given cell with a formula value. Another way to go about entering your formulas is just hitting the equals key, as that has the effect of pulling up the value prompt 2. So if you're used to doing that from modern spreadsheets, it'll work well enough here. Won't actually type an equal sign, of course, but it'll take you to the formula prompt so that you can type in your formula. There are a lot of essential key functions and idiosyncratic interface behaviors that you kind of need to memorize and get used to to do all this data input, though, so I'm kind of glossing over a lot of that. And, well, on that, yeah, plenty of shortcuts to remember, first of all. And they don't resemble key functions in interface behavior, particularly from other popular TI-99 programs. Multiplan was a cross-platform development project, and I feel like it kind of shows here that it was designed for no system in particular. But to help with learning the Multiplan way of doing things, you get a keyboard strip to place over your keyboard to remind you all its control and function key combinations. And you'll probably refer to it often using Multiplan. Plus, you've got the Microsoft Multiplan Electronic Worksheet Reference Card to keep track of all its stuff. It does a nice job of summing up important features, options, and functions. And if those two cheat sheet style options seem, well, too efficient and straight to business, you've got the centerpiece of this Multiplan package. It's a massive manual contained in the big fat binder that houses the whole thing. This big blue bastard brings you 241 pages of exciting reading about all of the things Multiplan Electronic Worksheet can do for you. It explains all the key functions and features pretty well, and provides good illustrations of the program's interface elements. And what you'll learn reading it is that the collection of formulas and features you've got in Multiplan is pretty respectable. You've got arithmetic functions like average and sum and round. You've got logic functions like and, or, and if. And you've even got string segmentation and repetition functions, which are pretty important since those unleash the real power of multiplan for me. The power to create silly ASCII art patterns formulaically. But once you get bored with ASCII art, there's no reason Multiplan can't be used as a spreadsheet program in the modern kind of way. It's 40 column graphics and it's hard to learn interface aside. It's a pretty useful tool. You can build pretty complex formulas to get whatever spreadsheet hijinks you want done. Just take this unnecessarily complicated formula for example. Dealt with by multiplan with a plum, I assume. I don't really know what a plum is, but multiplan probably deals with things using it. Multiplan takes a while to chew on complex patterns and takes a while to copy them across a column or row, but it gets there eventually. <laughs> Probably even faster if you're using it to count numbers instead of making ASCII patterns for some reason. But I don't know why you'd want to do that. I think this making pretty ASCII patterns thing is really where spreadsheet technology is going. 
I usually look at TI-99 games and game technology on this channel, but, well, this has been a fun little diversion into another thing that old TI-99 can do. Microsoft Multiplan, the electronic worksheet of the future. If it's 1982 and Lotus 1-2-3 isn't a thing yet, anyway. Well, thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.